So I did this yesterday for my mini hex, so I thought I'd do one for my ZMR250 as well, just to make show the differences. So that's the one I did for my mini hex. So there's the ZMR. And so I've got the KK2 in under there. So for the KK2, motor one, two, three, four. Same set, same uh, basic principles. You've got your center of gravity. You've got your angles. You've got your length of your arms. You've got your aileron plus minus elevator plus minus pitch or roll. And to calculate your mixer editor settings, you plug into the spreadsheet that. I have, and I'll post the link. You plug in the degrees of the motors, adding them up as you go around. So the first motor is 52 degrees, next motor rounds 128, 232, 308, 308 being motor 1. So as you can see here, 308 motor 1 gives you 62 and minus 79 elevator aileron which is positive for your elevator, minus for your aileron. So each quadrant has that setting, plus minus, plus plus, plus minus, minus minus. That's about it for this one. I've got a bit more detail in the, the hexacopter video, so you could probably have a quick look at that. I've actually got the KK2 settings and how when you change the motor or the, the mixer settings that you actually see the actual frame where the motors are change on the KK2 motor layout. So it's pretty impressive. Thanks for watching.